The line between past, present, and future isn't as clear as we've been taught. What if all of time is happening now, simultaneously? Imagine a world where the future you're anxious about is already written, where moments are layered over each other in a complex, beautiful tapestry. Today, we're diving into the mind-bending idea that the past, present, and future might exist together in a way that challenges everything you thought you knew about time's flow. Stick around, because this isn't just philosophy. It's a lens that could reshape how you see your entire life. The nature of temporal perception. The way humans perceive time is surprisingly complex and often not aligned with the physical reality of the universe. Our experience of past, present, and future is predominantly shaped by our consciousness, which creates a flowing narrative from moment to moment. Scientific discoveries in physics, particularly in relativity, reveal that time isn't an absolute, universally ticking clock, but a flexible dimension intertwined with space. Since the fabric of space-time is considered four-dimensional, past, present, and future might all coexist within this framework, challenging the intuitive notion that only the present is real. This idea points toward the possibility that the traditional tripartite division of time is a psychological construct rather than an objective truth. The brain processes temporal information in a way that emphasizes certain moments over others, giving us a sense of a moving now. Neural mechanisms, such as the circadian rhythm and internal clocks, help us navigate daily life, but they are not the ultimate arbiters of reality. Instead, they create a subjective timeline that helps us plan, remember, and anticipate. For example, memories are often reconstructed rather than retrieved like static files, suggesting that our sense of the past is malleable and not fixed in a single point in time. Similarly, predictions about the future rely on patterns and probabilities woven into our perception, lending a sense of immediacy and importance to events that haven't yet happened. Physicists exploring the idea of eternalism, an interpretation rooted in the notion that all points in time are equally real, argue that what we perceive as the flow of time is an illusion. This perspective aligns with block universe theory, where everything that has happened is happening now or will happen is embedded within the space-time continuum. In this view, the future already exists as a set of potentialities, much like the past exists as a set of facts. This doesn't negate our experience of change or free will, but suggests that the perception of moving through time is an emergent phenomenon of consciousness, rather than an intrinsic property of the universe itself. Examples from modern physics and cognitive science illuminate how fluid this boundary can be. Phenomena such as quantum entanglement imply that particles separated by light years can influence each other instantaneously, blurring the line between cause and effect across time. Meanwhile, experiments involving time perception reveal that our awareness of time's passage can slow down or speed up based on circumstances, stress, boredom, excitement, all rewriting how we experience temporal flow. Ultimately, pondering the nature of temporal perception unearths a compelling truth. That time might be less a ticking clock and more a richly woven tapestry, where past, present, and future exist simultaneously in a universe far stranger and more elegant than our everyday intuition suggests. The concept of time as a dimensional spectrum. In contemporary physics, the idea that time functions as a dimensional spectrum challenges our everyday perception of past, present, and future as distinct and sequential. Instead, this perspective suggests that all points along the temporal axis coexist simultaneously, much like the dimensions of space. This notion aligns with certain interpretations of the block universe theory, where the universe is viewed as a four-dimensional space-time block containing every moment, with no privileged now. From this vantage point, past events are as real and fixed as present moments, and future ones are equally existent, merely not yet accessible to our consciousness. Imagine time as a vast landscape where every event is mapped out in relation to others, rather than unfolding in a strictly linear way. In this framework, our experience of moving through time, of aging and remembering, is akin to traversing a narrow corridor within a sprawling multidimensional space. Our brains reconstruct a sequence of events to make sense of reality, but at a fundamental level, there's no hierarchy that favors now over then 
or will be. This idea is supported by certain solutions in Einstein's theory of relativity, where the distinction between past and future becomes less clear and depends on the observer's frame of reference. For instance, events that seem simultaneous to one observer may appear sequential to another, implying that the sequence of time is relative rather than absolute. This spectrum view of time also opens up interesting philosophical and practical questions. If past and future are as real as the present, then our traditional sense of agency and free will might need reevaluation. Could future events be seen as already determined within this structure, yet inaccessible due to the limitations of our perception? Quantum mechanics adds complexity here, with phenomena like superposition suggesting that at a fundamental level, multiple states or outcomes may exist simultaneously until observed. This blends the idea of a continuous spectrum of potentialities with the block universe concept, hinting that the boundaries we draw between what is past, present, or future are merely constructs of our consciousness, not intrinsic qualities of reality itself. Furthermore, viewing time as a multidimensional spectrum also influences how we interpret concepts like causality and change. If all moments exist simultaneously, then cause and effect might be more like relationships in a network rather than a linear chain. Changes in one part of the spectrum could ripple through the entire fabric of space-time, challenging the notion that effects always follow causes in a straightforward sequence. This perspective urges us to consider reality as a holistic entity, much like a complex, interconnected tapestry, where the flow of time is an emergent property of our limited perception rather than an absolute feature of existence. Theoretical perspectives, past, present, and future coexistence. In the realm of physics and philosophy, the notion that past, present, and future coexist challenges our intuitive experience of time as a linear progression. Einstein's theory of relativity disrupts the classical view by suggesting that all moments in space-time exist simultaneously, not sequentially, which leads to the concept of a block universe. In this framework, the universe is akin to a four-dimensional tapestry where every event, whether past, present, or future, is woven into the fabric of space-time. This view implies that the future is just as real as the past, existing as part of the universe's structure, even if we are only consciously aware of certain parts of it at a given moment. Philosophers have long debated whether time is an actual dimension in which moments are eternally laid out or if our perception is merely a mental illusion. The idea that all points in time exist simultaneously allows for the possibility that the distinction between what has happened and what will happen is less about an objective timeline and more about how consciousness interacts with a static block universe. Under this perspective, free will might still have a role, but it manifests within a pre-existing structure. For example, some interpretations propose that our choices are still real but embedded in the universe's totality, where every possible decision has already been accounted for in the space-time continuum. Experimentally, the coexistence of different times becomes plausible through observations of quantum phenomena. Certain interpretations of quantum mechanics, such as the many-worlds theory, suggest that every quantum event branches the universe into multiple timelines, each representing different possible outcomes. This idea diminishes the strict boundary between past and future by implying that all potential realities are embedded within a vast multiverse. Consequently, the experience of now seems like a flash of awareness within an ocean of all potential moments that already exist, waiting to be observed or unfolded by consciousness. This raises profound questions about whether our perception truly captures the entire picture or if it's merely a limited window into an infinitely layered reality. Considering these perspectives, some thinkers argue that our perception of time's flow is a cognitive construct designed to help us navigate survival and causality. The idea that past, present, and future coexist forces us to rethink the nature of causality and responsibility. If the future already exists, then the notion of predicting or influencing what's to come takes on a different hue. 
more like uncovering what is already embedded in the fabric of space-time than actively shaping an unfolding story. This intertwining of physics, philosophy, and cognitive science continues to inspire debates and experiments aiming to unravel whether time's arrow is real or an emergent feature of the way we process a timeless universe. Implications for Consciousness and Reality the idea that the future already exists challenges our conventional understanding of time as a linear progression from past to present and then to future. In the realm of physics, particularly in the block universe concept where space-time is viewed as a four-dimensional manifold, all events, past, present, and future, are equally real and embedded within this fabric. This suggests that the sense of flowing time is more a construct of our consciousness than an objective feature of reality. If that's true, then our perception of moving through time is akin to a person reading a book, flipping through pages that are all already written, not a journey through a sequence, but a single, unchanging landscape punctuated by our subjective point of view. This perspective significantly alters our notions of free will and causality. If the future is predetermined in the block universe, then every decision we make is already embedded within the fabric of space-time. Our awareness of choice, then, becomes a kind of illusion, a seeming process generated by the way our consciousness slices through this vast, static structure. Some physicists and philosophers argue that this does not diminish the reality of decision-making, but instead reframes it. Our experience of choice is part of the unfolding of these pre-existing events, giving rise to a feeling of agency, even if all outcomes are already inscribed in the fabric of the universe. In terms of consciousness, this simultaneity of past, present, and future raises profound questions. If all moments coexist, then our memories are simply reconstructions within a fixed timeline, and future experiences are as fixed as memories. This leads to a view where time is less of a dynamic flow and more of a complex symphony that our minds interpret in a linear way. The implications extend to how we understand the nature of reality itself. If the future exists and is as concrete as the past, then what we consider to be present is merely a focal point in our consciousness, a spotlight moving across a grand, unchanging tableau. The practical consequences of this view ripple into diverse fields, from quantum physics to philosophy of mind. In quantum mechanics, certain interpretations suggest that particles exist in superpositions and their states are only determined upon observation. If the future is already set in some overarching sense, then what we see as quantum indeterminacy may be a reflection of our limited perspective from within the timeless whole. For consciousness, Recognizing that the future exists in some sense can foster a sense of interconnectedness and reduce anxiety about change. After all, if all is already present in the fabric of reality, perhaps the notion that our actions can alter an unalterable future is more about how we perceive time than about how the universe actually operates. The perception of time as a linear progression from past to future is deeply ingrained in human consciousness. Yet many physicists and philosophers challenge this intuition, proposing that the fabric of reality itself exists in a state of timeless simultaneity. The idea that the past, present, and future all coexist is rooted in interpretations of Einstein's theories of relativity. For example, the Bloch universe concept suggests that all moments in time are equally real and laid out within a four-dimensional space-time. Under this view, what we experience as moving through time is akin to navigating within a vast, unchanging landscape, where every event has its fixed position and moment of occurrence. This perspective raises profound questions. If all moments already exist, what does it mean to wait or anticipate what's coming? Scientific experiments and thought experiments bolster this theory. Consider how the theory of relativity demonstrated how different observers, moving at different velocities, perceive the passage of time differently. This relativity of simultaneity implies that the idea of a singular, flowing now is an illusion. What one observer perceives as past may be present for another. Quantum mechanics adds another layer of complexity. Certain interpretations, like the many worlds hypothesis, suggest that every possible outcome of an event splits into a new branch of reality, 
effectively creating an ever-expanding tapestry of all potential futures that already exist somewhere within this multiverse. These ideas challenge the conventional view that the future is open and waiting to unfold. Instead, they imply that it is, in a sense, already embedded within the universe's structure. On a more philosophical level, this leads to a re-evaluation of how consciousness interacts with time. If the entire timeline exists simultaneously, then our perception of moving through time might simply be a feature of consciousness, a narrative we construct to make sense of our experience. Some thinkers argue that the mind creates a sense of flow by continuously linking moments in a sequence, much like watching a film frame by frame. Yet, the film itself exists in its entirety, and our perception of progression is just the way our brains process these slices of reality. This interconnectedness suggests that everything, past, present, future, is woven into a single, eternal tapestry, making the present act as a junction point rather than a spotlight moving forward through time. Concrete examples echo this perspective. For instance, in telecommunications and global positioning systems, the relativity of time is not just theoretical. It's actively used to synchronize satellites orbiting the Earth, which experience time slightly differently than objects on the surface. Without these corrections, GPS coordinates would quickly become inaccurate. This shows how the universe's underlying structure, where all moments in time are, in a sense, fixed, has practical implications. It also hints at a universe that doesn't fundamentally evolve through a sequence of events, but rather holds every moment in a state of coexistence, waiting to be accessed or observed. The idea that the future already exists challenges how humans comprehend free will, emphasizing instead a universe where the flow of time is a perceptual illusion layered atop an eternal, unchanging reality. As we come to the end of this journey through the illusion of time, it becomes clear that our usual perception of past, present, and future might be just a mental construct. The idea that all moments coexist and that the future already exists in some form challenges the way we see our place in the universe. It's a reminder that our experience of time is deeply personal, yet influenced by the way our brains process reality. If this perspective intrigues you, you're not alone. Many thinkers have pondered these same questions, and the conversation is far from over. Keep exploring, questioning, and expanding your understanding of what time really is. There's so much more to uncover, and first we'll be here with new insights and ideas to share along the way. Thanks for watching, and if this sparked any curiosity, don't hesitate to like, subscribe, or share your thoughts in the comments. Together, we can keep unraveling the mysteries of the universe and our place within it. Until next time, stay curious and keep questioning the fabric of reality itself.